hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you how to pull off this epic effect in after effects so stick with me and i'll teach you step by step so here is my footage which i'll be using the first step in bringing the cyborg effect to life is tracking we need to capture the exact movement and position of the face so our skull image stays perfectly aligned After finishing the tracking, we will create a null layer. This is where we will apply all the details to make sure everything sticks perfectly to the face. As you can see, all our tracking data is now in our null layer which we created just now. Now we will drag and drop our skull image into the comb. Since I didn't had the PNG for the skull, so I will be using extract effect to remove the white part. Now let's lower the opacity of the skull layer. This makes it easier to see the subject's head as we adjust the position and scale to align the skull perfectly. Now we will parent our skull layer to our null. After parenting the skull layer to the null layer, you will notice it now matches the movement of the subject's head. However, you might need to make some manual adjustments, so it's always a good idea to take your time with the tracking for the best results. Now we will duplicate our main footage and drag it to the top. Now go to the Roto Brush tool and we will start rotoscoping out our subjects here. Once you are done with the Roto, now we will go back and then we will tweak some properties of feather, contrast and shift edge of the roto layer. Select our skull layer and then we will drag and drop our first effect that is linear white. Let's set our transition completion to around 50% and then we will feather it out to make it look smooth. Our next effect will be Mesh Warp. This will help us shape and blend the skull layer seamlessly with the subject's face for a more realistic look. Let's reduce the opacity a bit so that we can adjust our Mesh Warp more better and accurate. Now drag and drop curves effect. Now we will create a new adjustment layer and then we will add exposure effect and then we will play with the exposure and the gamma correction properties of the effect.
Now let's add some noise. I think around 28 will look good. Now we will add another effect, brightness and contrast. Let's put it above the noise. Now let's create a new solid layer and we will choose the color red. We will create a mask, a circle mask. This will be our cyborg eye. Now we need to do another tracking since we need our cyborg's eye to match the movement with our subject's eye. After the tracking is done, we will create a new null layer and then we will put all the position properties of our eye to that layer. Now we will parent our cyborg's eye layer to our new null layer which we just created right now thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you found it helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more exciting effects see you in the next video